everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Penny. I am a master esthetician in Portland, Oregon. Today, we are just gonna do some favorites, you guys. I wanna share with you my current favorite things, the things that I actually use all the time, but I hardly ever talk about on this channel. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to share with you guys. So we're just gonna have a little relaxed video today and chat about some goodies. I have some skincare, I have some makeup, and I have a tool that I wanna share with you guys. So let's get into it. I'm gonna start with cleansing. I have two cleansers that I have been enjoying very, very much. One is from Beauty Pie. This is called Japan Fusion. Now, this is a cleansing balm. I use it to loosen up my makeup and to kind of help get rid of the initial, you know, makeup, sunscreen, all of that kind of stuff. I absolutely love the consistency of this one. It's kind of that jelly balm-ish consistency. Definitely loosens up my makeup. And then when you get it wet, it kind of forms a milk. What I am doing with this and another favorite of mine are, where did I put them, are these washcloths. Now you don't have to get this brand, but I wanna give you an idea. This is a baby washcloth. So these are 100% rayon and they're made from bamboo. So they're super soft, they're super gentle, they're made for baby skin, right? So I have several boxes of these. They come and they're all wrapped pretty like that, right? So the way that I use these is after I'm using a cleansing balm, I get my washcloth very, very wet, wring it out with really warm water, but not all the way to hot, obviously, because we don't want that on our skin. But I get it nice and warm. I splash away some of the residue from the Japan Fusion or whatever balm I'm using. I'm really loving this one right now. Then I put the washcloth on my face and I just let it sit. It helps to further loosen the makeup, especially eye makeup and that kind of thing. And then I will gently kind of remove the balm and the makeup and the sunscreen and all of that stuff. I get a lot of it off with that washcloth. But what is also a favorite about that is just the process. Whenever I am doing a facial on someone or any kind of treatment in the treatment room, I almost always use steam towels. And inevitably, my clients will sigh. There is an exhale when the towel goes on their face. And if you've had a facial and you know, you know that feeling, it is instant relaxation. So it's perfect for at night to use a nice warm washcloth along with a cleansing balm as your first cleanse. I think it just prepares you to kind of wind down for bed and that kind of stuff. Now, my second cleanse is this Clean Biotic from Dr. Brandt. Now, I'm actually, I don't know where it is. Oh, this is my second. This is this one's almost gone, so I have a backup. And I will tell you, I originally got it in a, like a boxy charm or something like that. And surprisingly, because half the time, 90% of the stuff that I get in there, I give away. I give it to my niece, I, I give it away. This was definitely something that I was like, ooh, I like that. It's pH balanced, it has yogurt in it. It's kind of all about preserving your microbiome. And I love the idea of, a pH balanced cleanser. If there's anything that a cleanser should be, it should be pH balanced, unless you're using an acidic cleanser, of course. But it should be pH balanced and it shouldn't strip your skin. And this doesn't do either. I really, really enjoy this cleanser. What I like about this one too is I find it to be a great second cleanse, but it's also a really good morning cleanse. So if you're somebody who likes to wash your face in the morning, not just rinse it with water, this is really nice. It does not leave me super tight or dry. I just feel like my skin got clean and it just feels comfortable, which is really a great cleanser. The line Verse. Talked about this eye mask. This is their emergency eye mask. I know I said it in that video, but I love this. I, if you've tried it, comment in the comment section. I just think that it instantly cools that area. It does something for puffiness and it definitely helps my, you know, I don't know, wake up my eyes. So I almost use this every single day. What I have been using it with, this is not rocket science. I don't want anybody to think that I think that this is some crazy skincare tool, but I've been using it with one of these gold bar tools. Now this, when you turn it on, it vibrates. I don't know if you can hear that. It vibrates, right? This was really inexpensive, you guys. It was under $20 and you can find these all over. There's nothing special about the gold. I don't even think it's real gold. There's nothing special about this except for that it's shaped like that and that's a really good shape for lymphatic drainage. 
and that it vibrates. And it just helps to kind of gently push lymph out of the area that I'm trying to depuff. And almost every day I'm trying to depuff around my eyes. I am one of those people, and you might be this way too, that a touch too much salt and I am just a beach ball. So what I've been doing is I've been putting on this mask or I've been using one of my actual under eye masks from Hydropeptide or e.l.f. and I have been doing lymphatic drainage. And so all that means, you guys, is I'm gently, super, super gently, this almost barely touches your skin, and I press the inside here and the side of my nose, and I just gently sweep. You can also just do tapping motions this way, pushing that lymph towards the outside, towards your ear, basically. You can go up if you wanna do your whole face. I could do a whole video on lymphatic drainage if you guys are interested, because it's actually pretty incredible. It's one of those really simple things that just can help you look a little more sculpted, can definitely depuff, make you feel a little bit better. It's very, very soothing. This is definitely one of those tools that, like I said, there's nothing special about it except for the fact that it's shaped really well for doing this and the fact that it vibrates helps to just push stuff along. And again, you want your you want it barely touching your skin. So the vibration just helps to kind of move things along. I definitely notice when I use this for, I don't know, five minutes, like in the morning when I'm reading emails and stuff, that it helps to wake up my eyes and definitely does some depuffing. So this, this is a cricket. I will find some that you guys can find online. There's nothing special. You definitely don't need the $100 or $200 ones that are shaped like this. I think Jillian Dempsey, bless her heart, but she has one called the gold bar. And I don't even know if it vibrates, I'm not sure, but it's expensive. You don't need that. You, you don't need a, an expensive one. Okay, I wanna tell you that copper peptides as a subject are a favorite this month. They're always a favorite, but they're especially a favorite this month because I am now on to, I've finished my VIP serum from Dr. Picard. I've got a big one I pre-purchased. I purchased all of this myself. I have also been testing by request one from Niode, which is the CAIL. I'm also testing the CAIS, and I am testing the Buffet Plus Copper Peptides so that I can give you guys a great overview. Now, I have a few other products that I use that do contain copper peptides, and I have a few that I, I don't wanna call them fails, but they're not my favorites. So I'm going to be doing a full video breaking down ranking my copper peptide choices in the third week of March. So watch for that video, but copper peptides overall, especially since I've been focusing on them with my PM routine, the, it's just reiterated how much I love them as an anti-aging tool. I alternate nights with a retinoid and I really, really am enjoying them. Every single one that I'm testing has its pros, but overall the concept of copper peptides is a winning concept for anti-aging. So that is a favorite as well. And definitely stay tuned for a full breakdown of kind of my favorites and fails as far as copper peptides are concerned. Okay, another favorite is kind of a makeup slash skincare item, and it is from Trini London. Now, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you should. It's Penn Smith Skincare. I showed you guys basically a haul in a picture of Trini London. I ordered a bunch of her eyeshadows, her blushes, her highlighters, this BFF, and the BFF was, I ordered it because I thought, well, that's kind of skincare related because it has sunscreen in it. And I didn't really anticipate really falling in love with it. Well, I really fell in love with it. I have it in light medium, which is the tone that I am pretty consistently right now. I ordered it in light after I got this one and I have it in medium so that I can wear whatever I want because I'm like, I want this in my skincare routine. So what I'm doing is I'm not actually wearing this as my SPF, of course. I don't ever, I don't care. I don't ever find coverage cosmetics that have SPF. To me, those aren't your dedicated SPF. So I'm still, of course, using my Dermatology, my SPF 46, the oil-free universal tint, tinted moisturizer. I'm still using that as my sunscreen, but then I'm using this over it, and it's almost like a makeup primer. So what I've been doing is I'm putting this all over my face and down my neck, which helps to kind of, you know, it kind of conceals some of the poikiloderma that I have on my neck. 
and it does have a scent so if that's off-putting to you then you know this definitely has a scent it's kind of a cucumber i find it very pleasant it doesn't bother me i know it should i'm an esthetician and it should bother me but it, i really really like it i like the way it looks and I just like it so but know that about the fragrance so then i go on with whatever foundation i'm wearing and all i'm doing is putting a little foundation in the center of my face and kind of feathering it out for a touch more coverage but this is beautiful you guys but if you've been kind of wondering about her product line this to me is a standout product in that line and it's beautiful the tones are really nice it's kind of a lotion Reminds me of, there was a product from Estee Lauder, I think they still have it, I think it's called Daywear, and it looks like a white lotion, and then there are little beads of color in there. And it's very sheer, but it's also perfecting. Like, it's sheer, but it's also perfecting. It's a really interesting product. And so basically, you put it on, and then once you massage it in, it leaves behind this kind of dewy finish, and it does set down just a little bit more after it's been on your skin a little bit longer. I would say that if you have super, super, super oily skin, you may not like this. Okay, the other thing from Trini that stands out to me, and I'm telling you, I bought all the eyeshadows, I bought everything, is her blush. Shockingly, because it, I, I don't know, I wasn't expecting the blush to be one of the things that's an absolute favorite, but my very, very favorite is one called Wigs, and I'm wearing it today. It looks like this. It is the perfect like blossom pink, peachy coral cream blush. Just gives your cheeks life. It is so pretty. It is so foolproof. It's just a really nice product. If you see right here, it genuinely to me, just if you are light, medium, medium skin, it gives you, I don't know, it just gives this summertime vibe, the spring blossom vibe. I love it. And it's not too dewy. It kind of has this soft matte, but it's a cream formulation, so it doesn't look too matte like a powder. So it's perfect if you are mature and you're into cream products, but you don't want it to be too creamy to settle into fine lines and that kind of stuff. This is really, really pretty. Now, the other products that I have just in this little stack, and that's kind of her thing too. They stack, everything hooks together, right? So I have a whole stack of eyeshadows. I have a whole stack of face products and that it's just kind of ingenious because all of them are travel friendly. They all just click together like that. And so you can kind of customize if you're gonna travel and that, that sort of thing. So I would say the blush products from Trini London are also a big, big hit to me. The last thing that I'm gonna talk about today, you guys, and if you've been here for a long time, you know that this product has been a favorite for a really long time, but there's so many new people that I wanna share it again, and that is my Lumify Drops. I feel like shouting this from the rooftops all the time. I have enough new people here that you haven't heard me talk about this. It is simply an eye drop that removes the redness out of the whites of your eyes and gives them a brighter, more youthful appearance. And what I love about this eye drop, you guys, is that it also will help remove that pink from the waterline. And as we get older, it's just true. Our eyes get a little bit more cloudy. They get a little bit more dull looking. And if you can brighten up the whites and brighten up that waterline, it does look more youthful for sure. I used to wear a lot of um, nude pencil in the waterline just to brighten up my eyes, but I don't need to because the drop actually removes the red from there as well. If you wear contacts, you wanna read the instructions because I know there's special instructions for contact wearers. You have to you know, put your contacts in a certain amount of time after you've done the drops. So read the box, that kind of thing. I don't have rebound redness. I don't have rebound dryness, nothing. And it makes such a big difference to me in my overall appearance to have bright, youthful looking eyeballs, not, not the makeup, the actual eyeball. So this is a huge favorite and so I wanted to mention that. Okay, you guys, those are all my favorites. Thank you for joining me for just a fun video. This was just kind of, you know, one of those where I wanted to share with my peeps the stuff that I'm loving. And I hope you guys are having a fantastic week. If you are new here, I hope you will consider subscribing and tap the bell so that you know when I put out future videos. I do all kinds of fun skincare content. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great week and I'll talk to you in my next skincare video. Take care.